Hello Libra and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy that you are here with me today. This is your weekly reading for September 2nd to the 8th. So I'll concentrate on your incoming energies. We're going to get some tarot cards to clarify. We're going to get your animal spirit card. We're going to tie the reading together with your angel messages. And I'm going to close out the reading with your angel number. So there will be multiple messages coming through. So please remember this is a general reading. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. If parts do resonate, please consider commenting. I appreciate the comments and I, it does help me to connect with your energy. Now I've already meditated and prepared the cards, but let's cleanse the space together. We're going to do that with the ringing of the bell. So please be aware that you're going to hear a loud bell sound now. Right, Libra, for those of you that are new to my channel, I want to welcome you. I hope you enjoy your reading today. For those of you that are returning, thank you very much for all your love and support. And let's get right into your reading. So thank you once again. All right, Libra, let's find out what your incoming energies are as we move through the first week of September. Now we're starting this first week off with a new moon in Virgo on September 2nd. So powerful energies starting off the week. So let's see what is surrounding you this week, Libra. All right. We will get into those energies in a moment. We're going to start with the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck is your current energies. It's the energies that you're bringing into the reading. All right, it looks as if you are standing your ground against somebody or something, definitely. I think you've been feeling as if you've, you've had to really, you're kind of in protection mode. You're protecting your morals, you're protecting your values. Um, you're, you're standing up against somebody who has a little bit of toxic energy, somebody who is not very trustworthy. So the temptation card, the devil card, you're standing your ground, you're choosing not to follow a direction that you know is unhealthy for you, whether or not that's a person or whether that is something around you that's, that, that's been happening. It's something that's coming into your current energies. Uh, it's, it is your current energies, um, but you know, you, again, you're not, you're not allowing this, uh, you're not allowing this to phase you in any way. Um, this cycle is closing out for you, um, but that devil card, Capricorn energy, um, you are standing your ground up against it. And it is somebody that is not, somebody that you can't trust. You know that it's somebody in your life that, that has proven to not be trustworthy. Uh, and, you know, you, uh, you don't have any problems with uh, protecting yourself, protecting your position, protecting your family, whatever it is, you are in protection mode and you are not letting anybody infiltrate that. So let's get into your current energies. So we've got your base chakra here. This is your root chakra. This is the chakra of your, um, that, you know, when it's in, it aligned, um, it is your solid foundation. It's everything to do with the foundation of your life. Um, so with the base chakra showing up here, you know, it's, uh, I think that you do have a strong solid foundation and I think you materially, financially have a nice strong foundation as well. With the material harvest number nine, this is all about independent wealth. This is all about those little luxuries. You know, you've worked very hard and you continued to work hard for, for a very long time. And now you're starting to feel the material abundance. And that's what's helped increasing your base chakra. It's bringing that solid foundation. Now you do have number two, mental conflict. We'll get more into it with the tarot cards. There is something you're conflicting with in your head, right? There's something you're thinking about and you're thinking, okay, I, I, I need more clarity. Definitely, mental conf conf conflict happens because we don't have the clarity. So there is definitely a situation that's requiring some more information. And you know what? This is going to be a great time for that more inf for, for more information as well because Mercury has gone direct. It was in retrograde for the entire month of August, which made it a little bit you know made it a little bit um, confusing for us. You know, confusing and a little bit challenging for most of us because our communications were a little bit kind of thrown off. Um, but you know what, this mental conflict is, you know, I think there's something we'll find out more with the tarot cards, of course, but there is definitely something that's weighing on your mind and it's not allowing you to feel a sense of freedom. So we're going to find out what that is. So let's get into your tarot cards and let's find out if we can get a little bit more 10 of wands. See, you're feeling burdens. That could be the mental conflict as well. 10 of wands is feeling of sometimes those burdens are burdens that are not only your burdens, but you know, again, I, 
you know, with the Ten of Wands, you, you could be trying to spread yourself a little too thin. You know, you're trying to be the best at work, the best in a relationship, the best in your family, the, you know, the best with everything in your life. And that becomes very burdensome. And that can cause mental conflict as well. But let's find out. Let's get into all of these and, and find out what the messages are. So let's see. Can we get some more uh, information here? Tell us a little bit more about what is happening as we move through September 2nd to the 8th for the beautiful sign Libra. All right. Okay. You know what? Let's put these like this. And then we will go from there. All right, let's start with the base chakra. We've got the Princess of Coins and we've got the Lover's card. These two kind of came out uh, together. The Princess of Coins is a um, new energy because they are the youngest of the court cards. Uh, again, there is no gender with any of these cards. Coins are earthly, uh, everything to do with um, uh, grounding, money, um, our health. It has a lot to do with our grounding energy. The Princess of Coins is you know, a nice card to, to see with the base chakra. It is providing that sense of stability. There could be a new opportunity and there could be some choice that you're going to have to make here with the lover's card. Um, there could be a, a decision that needs to be made. And again, you need to, you need to be able to release that mental conflict in order to be able to make a clear choice and decision. Uh, this princess of coins, um, it, it could be a new opportunity for more education uh, to further yourself in your career. Um, it's something that is going to require you to, um, to make a fairly quick decision. Now, this material harvest, it looks as if with the three of swords, something ends. There's an ending of some sort and a new beginning. So I think that there could be at the end of a contract with the three of swords. It's that it could be three people involved. Um, I'm seeing it more to do with uh, work related or financial, financially um, um, related. Uh, because you've got the Ace of Coins here as well. The Ace of Coins is a new beautiful opportunity. And I think that with the Material Harvest being your main um, energy, which is all about that financial abundance and that kind of freedom uh, with the finances as well, because you've worked so hard, I believe that there is some sort of contract that is coming to a close. There is an ending of something, whether it's a job or whether it is just a contract or something to do with your finances. Something something is uh, is really closing out and there's a new opportunity, there's a new offer, a better offer, something that's going to offer you more financial freedom. And this could be a lot to do with the choice that you have to make here with this princess of coins um, and that base chakra because whatever this is, something, some sort of contract was really not offering you um, the, it wasn't offering you the pay increases that, that you deserve. And, um, and something else is being offered here with that ace of coins and the princess of coins, you know, I definitely, I'm definitely feeling like there is a better, more lucrative offer. Now with this mental conflict, you've got the princess of cups and the seven of swords. Seven of swords is very much like the deception and envy card here. Um, it can be, it can be a deceptive card. It can be somebody that maybe you have to be a little bit cautious of. The Princess of Cups is uh, somebody who is of water sign. So if that means anything to any of you, that would be Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer energy. This is causing a mental conflict and this could be why it's in your current energies as well. Um, this person, this person, and it could be this Princess of Cups, um, is very um, somewhat immature. Um, and you know they're 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 right in the I mean they 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 don't have a really good grasp on reality here, um, and they could be you know keeping something from you. They could be keeping something secret from you, or they could be just uh, in in sort of a deceptive manner, and it's causing you a lot of mental conflict. It's something that's weighing on your mind. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, this is definitely a, um, the seven of swords and this seven deception and envy again, being the same cards, you know, you, uh, this deception that's happened is really weighing on your mind. And even though you are standing your ground and you are in protective mode, uh, nonetheless, it's still, it's still something that's causing a lot of mental anguish. So let's get some clarifying cards. Let's find out a little bit more as to what's going on here. 
This deception could have something to do with work. Maybe it could be somebody in the workplace that's keeping secrets from you. They're doing something in a deceptive manner. Um, they have a toxic, uh, toxic energy. It's causing this mental conflict because um, it, what this energy is doing is it's causing this three of swords, right? It's, it's, that is something that has to end here. So let's, uh, let's get some clarifying cards for the princess of coins and the lover's card. Let's get a clarifier for those two cards, please. Spirit angels guides. Thank you so much. Let's find out what that card is. Three of swords again. Yeah. I believe it's something to do with the workplace. Somebody has been somebody in the workplace has been a little bit disruptive. And it's time for you to make a decision here. It's time for you to make a decision uh, on whether or not you want to continue down this path. You, you, it's a cycle that needs to end here. Yeah, because they uh, they they are um, they are they are causing a little bit of havoc for sure. And it is somebody who has a much younger mentality. They're not as mature as you. You're way more mature. And uh, you have a better grasp on reality. You know exactly what hard work is. You know what that is. You know what you're, you know um, how to, um, you know, you know what it, what it takes to be successful. And I do see that success here as well. But there is definitely something that somebody with a younger energy is causing this mental conflict and it is, it is a deceptive behavior and it is going to come to an end. Let's find out with the three of swords and the ace of coins. Let's find out. Let's find out what's going on here, Libra. And you got strength. See, so you have the strength. No matter what, this is something that you are going to be able to, you are definitely going to be able to handle. Again, you've got that seven, uh, you're standing your ground. You have a lot of strength and determination. You've got a lot of courage. Um, you know, you don't back down from a challenge by any means. Um, you want fairness. Definitely fairness is important to you, especially being Libra. Balance and fairness. Um, karmic justice, very important. And if somebody is not behaving um, properly or if they are doing things that are not for anybody's highest good, um, you have the strength to really... Um, almost almost test them or hold them responsible in some way. Um, I th see a lot of financial gain coming your way with some sort of new offer that's coming. Uh, I, see, I see that this deception is closing out. That's why you got the Three of Swords twice. Um, let's, get, let's get a card now for the Princess of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Let's find out what's happening there. Because it's causing mental conflict because again, you know, when, when, when you're not a person who uses deception, um, it's hard for you to understand. It's hard for you to understand how they, how how they can operate. Um, you got the seven of pentacles. You got a lot of sevens in your reading, so keep that in mind. Lots of sevens, and you got some threes as well. But seven is definitely um, a very um, strong number here. The seven of pentacles. You've been investing a lot into something here, waiting for for you now. Maybe you've been investing a lot of time and and hard work into your work, into your job. And again, what's causing the mental conflict is this person that's causing a disruption. Now you also have the magician, which is number one. You've got, um, you've got three aces here as well, meaning there's some new beginnings. Um, this is all about your awareness. This is all, all about your capability of being able to manifest the things that you want. You have infinite possibilities here. This isn't your only option here. You've got lots of options here. The Ace of Coins is offering you something else, something better. It could be that you're being offered um, a better position. Maybe you're moving up in a position and there's somebody around you that is causing the deception. I think you're trying to weigh out here with the Seven of Pentacles. I think you're trying to weigh out the, you know, you're thinking in your mind with that mental conflict. I've put so much time and effort and so many years and all of my experience into something, but is it paying off for me? So it's something you're questioning. You're questioning, is this going to be worth it? And then with the magician, number one, it's, uh, you know, I think that it's going to be a very important time for you, uh, September 2nd with that new moon in Virgo, um, to really manifest again, um, your intentions. Uh, you have a, uh, you are a creator. You are creating something new for yourself here with a lot of strength and a lot of integrity. And there is somebody around you. There's no doubt there is somebody around you in your, in your, in your surroundings that is causing some, um, deceptive behavior. 
and it's toxic behavior and and it is going to come to an end and you you're going to decide on how you close this out all right let's get your you know what i want to get a clarifier for this three of swords all right let's get another we have we already have strength as one of the clarifiers and it's easy to be strong because there is something being offered to you something better is coming there is a better offer here let's find out what we can clarify this three of swords and it's king of cups i feel like it's watery energy somebody with water energy around you now that could be your energy it very well could be your energy you're more mature you know you also don't let you know your emotions you you are very grounded with your emotions so you're not letting this emotionally get to you by any means it's more mental conflict than it is emotional conflict i think this king of cups is actually your energy during this time libra um, you are feeling an emotional attachment to this because this is something of great importance to you. This is this is your root chakra. This is your stability. Um, and something definitely is um, closing out here. There is definitely an ending there. Um, and it's a choice that you're going to make. It's not a choice that's given to you. It's a choice that you have to make. But I think you're going to do it because you're emotionally grounded. You know, you feel emotional stability here. You can trust your instincts as well. The King of Cups, he's a leader, right? Very much a leader. He leads... Um, with a lot of emotional integrity as well. All right, let's get your animal spirit card. Let's find out what's happening here. And you've got infinite possibilities. Well, look at that. You've got that twice here. Plus, you've also got the possibilities with the Ace of Coins. I think that there's more to this st story. I think there is somebody working in the background that is causing a little bit of upheaval. And it's causing mental conflict for you. But you are going to close this chapter. You, because you're realizing that you are the unicorn, you are the magician, you are the creator, and that there is actually something even better there for you. So unicorn infinite possibilities, you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. And I think you're going through major transformations. There's a lot of transformations taking place for this first week um, of September for you, Libra. So let's get your angel message. Let's tie this entire reading together with some angel messages to get a little bit clearer, to tie the reading together, to find out what this week holds in store for Libra. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we've got four cards there. Yeah. All right, let's start with the Queen of Raphael. So follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So, you know, I think intuitively you are receiving messages that are, are trustworthy. Um, you need to trust your instincts, especially the King of Cups. He, he does trust his, his emotions. Um, but the Queen of Raphael is very nurturing, very loving, um, and wants you to follow your heart because your heart is very important. And we've got your heart pierced two times here. But this, to me, is not a love relationship. This is something to do with finances or work. There is definitely something changing on the work front here. Um, but you know, the Queen of Raphael, you're getting the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Um, that's strong uh, intuition, and it is definitely um, information that you can trust. Trust in your own mental um, understandings as well because even though you're feeling a conflict men uh, mentally with all of this um, you can trust those inner instincts as well the seven of Raphael it says it's time to make a decision and you've got a couple of decisions cards here you've got it with the lovers that's a time to make a decision or a choice you're going to have to make a decision here and then you're also going to make a decision in the next card as well seven of Raphael we've got another seven so please be mindful of sevens Time to make a decision, be clear on what you want and take action and a need for detoxification. You're going to need a detox period after you make this decision. It's going to be something that is, uh, I think that it's actually going to strengthen your root chakra. It's going to strengthen your stability when you can finally make this decision. And number 15, decisions. Release yourself from which holds you back, a need to detox. So you're going to need a time of rest. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. I do think that you do have a lot of confidence, but I think that you can, we at times get knocked down and you could be feeling a little bit knocked down with somebody in your life that is a lot more um, immature um, and they are just, they are going about things the wrong way. And then you got the Queen of Ariel. So this is a very mature and practical, happy, generous queen. 
nurture yourself and those you love the ability to make anything more beautiful practical and wise advice so you are going to get some great advice here and you are remember that you have infinite possibilities there's a lot of possibilities um, that are uh, opening up for you as well all right libra let's get your let's get your angel number let's find out look at that they want you to have two here and look at you got infinity again wow you this is why there's so many changes i think you are just really you are really becoming something uh, like extraordinary here so the infinity you are the divine co-creator and the oneness with all that is recognize your infinite nature open your heart elevate your vibration and connect with the divine feel the presence of your creator's love with you there are no limits to what you can achieve this is why something has to change here because you actually you actually have more um, you actually have more possibilities than any anyone else at this time, and you have to start believing that. And then you got six six six, which is reflection. So your angels are uh, guiding you to take a step back and reflect on the choices you have made in the past. Your life must be out of balance or. Uh, sorry, it says your life might be out of balance or you might have made decisions driven by fear. It is time to take control and tap into your inner strength. Rediscover what truly matters to you and realign your priorities. You need to regain that. You need to regain that balance back. And that only is going to come when you release something here. And this three of swords is really being able to release something from your life that you've invested a lot of time into. But there's so many more wonderful, infinite possibilities available to you that it's time for you to make this decision so that you can restore that balance and, and, and really get uh, to understand um, how, much, uh, how much of a creator you actually are. Thank you, Libra, for joining me today. I hope that you found parts of this reading resonate with you. If so, please leave comments, like, and share. Until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.